Here's a quick run through of this three tumbler full wrap mock up. First thing you'll see is the top layer, which is a space saving layer. You can either turn that off with the eye icon there, or you can drop it in the bin. Now, there's three smart objects, one for each tumbler. And I'll just run through how I add my design. So I'll start on the left, double click the smart object, just do that again, close that. Now the double click here, or you can go layers, smart objects, edit contents, same thing. Opens up the smart object. Now I'll delete these. And I'll start again. So I'm going to place my design in there. Place. Now it auto auto fits it, but I'm going to fit it to the size that I want. So you can choose how big you want to make it. And then when I'm happy, I'm going to make sure it's in the middle. When you're happy, just close it with the X there and be sure to say yes. Now, I've made a mistake there. I should have made that left, left sided. So, I'm going to move it to there. Now, because this is the left tumbler, I'm going to, I'm going to show the seam. So, I'll duplicate that by dragging my design onto the plus icon. And move that across. Now you don't have to show the scene, it's up to you how how you want it to look artistically. You could choose to put if you select them both, like I've just done there, by holding shift down, clicking the other layer, I can I can highlight them both. And now you can move left or right to to determine where you want your seam now. I'm going to do it because roughly try and make it look so that the text lines up but it's entirely up to you where you show that seam. Yes. So there you go, there's the seam there. Now if, if I'd have done it further across like that you might choose that way of displaying it and that's up to you. And there you go, it's just there, but I'm assuming you want to show the seam. So there we go. So that's that one done. Get rid of that, let's assume you're adding a new one. So it's place embedded. Size it to the full height. I'm going to be rough and ready about this, but you can be more precise. If you don't want to keep placing in, in a, and embedding like I'm doing, you can actually just press Control C to copy that layer, and it will put it in your clipboard. So when you come to the next layer, you can just paste. So I'll do that on this next one. So I'm going to double click the smart object. But again, instead, you can go to Layer, Smart Objects. Edit contents. Let's pretend that I'm putting in a new one just to run you through the process. And this time I'm going to control V because I know it's in my clipboard. I'm going to drag it across and I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to add the seam over there. And there you go. Now there's a couple of extra layers on top here. There's a reflections layer. Just to give it, say for example your uh, your wrap was a glossy wrap, you'd probably want to turn that on. And there's some shadows there you can have on and off. You can also adjust the level 
of shadows or reflections by just changing the opacity there or opacity and if you really wanted to go full on gloss you could select all of these three layers and change their blending mode to multiply and there you've got even more it's actually allowing the the gloss from the uh, from the straw background layer there to come through to normal multiply so that's so this is entirely up to you how much gloss you want to come on to the uh, design now by default the background is a steel straw background but if you want the plastic straw one all you have to do is go file place embedded and there's a in in the download there's a uh, plastic straw background jpeg you place that there make sure it's in exactly the right place there you go you got the straw version now and then you can toggle There you go, that's it. That's all there is to it.